one thing that I like to discuss with all the guests that are there, uh, and that is the impact that uh, sport can have on the society. Now, if we if we talk uh, if we talk about England and uh, you know particular cases that in the last year we saw that uh, cricketers and even Sky Sports with with who Crick was work work with that they they took a stand and they said that okay they'll they'll take the knee and you know speak about the Black Lives uh, Matter movement and everything where. Michael Holden had a lot to say, and I I sort of agreed with most of the things that he said. What is your take? Do you think that sport should be separated from societal issues, or do you think that it should be used as a as a medium to make things right which were wrong earlier? Because we saw even in the EPL that uh, players were taking the knee, and uh, you know they were sort sort of talking more about it and trying to correct the wrong that had been happening. Where do you stand on it? Do you think both the things can go hand in hand, or do you do you sort of are on the on the of the viewpoint that okay, sport should be separate from society. Well, just just on the um, the Sky segment itself, I thought it was it was one of the best pieces of television I've ever seen. To be honest, I was I was I, mean, I was watching it. And I was I was I was you know I was in tears watching it the first time I saw it because you know the world the world was in a very particular place and the conversation around it had reached a, a certain pitch that it would have been you know sky could have very easily not talked about it and actually i think it was a, it was a very courageous decision from from the people at sky who i've you know I'm, I'm you know i'm from a from a biased position to an extent in that i work with them but you know they they are very 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 good at what they do and i think that it was no surprise that they produced that that bit of telly i thought the way that that Michael Holding and Ebony spoke about, you know, their experiences and the way that you know racism has impacted on their lives and other people's lives. I thought it was, I thought it was, it was incredible. And the fact that it kind of happened before any cricket happened because of the rain delay was, it kind of gave it an audience that maybe even then it wouldn't have had. So I, I thought, you know, personally from that perspective, it was just I thought that was that was an incredible kind of moment um, for 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 cricket in this country. Personally, I'm 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 quite staunch on this in terms of sport and politics do mix and often the people who say sport and politics don't mix have a very specific and refined view and very restrictive view of what politics is and it's almost like it's party politics it's a very kind of thin off in the distance whereas you know, politics is pervasive in all of our lives all the time that was kind of what you know the BLM movement was about it wasn't it was about you know this is global injustice and I thought I think that allowing players to make a statement however they see fit uh, I think I think is only a good thing I think the, the important thing is that we don't you know I'm, I'm, I'm speaking out of turn to be honest you know again as a, as, a, as a white guy in England I don't have you know to an extent my opinion shouldn't really be voiced that loudly and I'm more than happy to defer to the vast majority of, uh, of, kind of, of people who have more experience of, of injustice um, in all in all areas of life and so I don't want people to I just want to not come across as preachy um but i do think that if you're going to allow people to express some opinions political opinions i think you have to let people express all opinions and I, you know if you open it up open the floor up to think you know things like the black lives matter movement then it, it, it does put a lot of responsibility on on sports people to you know to research and to make their political statements informed and not to make them kind of too casual or too easily um, appropriated, which I think is a good thing because you know these people have a platform and they have a, a platform that can do huge good, and so I think yeah, I think within within sport there's there's a, there's a responsibility there that should be taken very very seriously, and I hope I hope that the visibility, I mean the amazing work of the West Indies in terms of bringing keeping that issue at the at the forefront, um, and the, the work that people have done outside of, uh, of of that of that cricket that cricket series, as you say in, in the football, I think. Yeah. I, I think it's very admirable um, from a personal perspective, but as I say, it's not really my place to, to comment on it. You know, given my given my background and my and my relative level of insignificance. That's a very good point, and I, I tend to agree with it. One that uh, obviously you're not the one who's who's faced it, so your opinion doesn't sort of matter too much on the subject. But uh, you know, I I completely respect the point of view where you say that it does have an impact and sports persons do have a platform to sort of make a change or, you know, at least voice their opinion, which can make people talk about it. Mm -hmm.